Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. In this video, I want to teach you how to crochet this mini poncho Maria Ruiz. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're gonna need to make it. To make this little poncho Maria Ruiz, I'm gonna use uh, this uh, material. I give him that name because my friend Maria sent me this beautiful yarn or um, thread, and I decided to make this little poncho in her name. This one is from uh, Lime Premium Florentino Maxi, 100% polyester. I have 50 gram or 200 meters. And that's all the information that is in here. And that you can use a 3.5 crochet hook, 3.5 millimeters. No anything about color, thickness, or anything. It's just that. And it's like a thread like that. And it's uh, pink with uh, some silver glitter in it, like a silver thread all the way around. So I'm gonna combine this one with this one. This one I bought at Michael's it's from Loops and Thread, Cambria Big, 1,470 meters or 454 grams. I had to do a lot of project with this one <laughs> in order to use it. It's fine too, 100% acrylic. The color is white, and here in the formation you can work with the uh, crochet hook E or four to seven millimeter crochet hook. My crochet hook is a four millimeters. You're gonna need tapestry needle and scissors. To make this poncho, uh, you're gonna need eight granny squares and this will be the center of your granny square. So you have to make eight of these uh, flowers. So they're very easy to do. We're gonna start with a magic circle and you're going to chain three and that chain three counts as the first double crochet of 16 so that's one two three four five Six. So you're going to continue until you have 16. Once you finish your 16, you're going to pull the tail to close the circle of the first row. And remember, you have to count the chain three as the first one. Once you have your 16, the double crochet, you're going to pull that tail and you're going to do a slip stitch on the third chain. Here you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Yarn over twice, and in the same space, you're going to do three treble crochet. That's one. Two. And three. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and in that same space, you're going to do a single crochet. And here, the next stitch is very close to that one in here. It's really small in here, but you have a stitch there. You're going to skip that one, and you're going to go to the next one, and you're going to do a single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Yarn over twice, and in the same space, you're going to do three treble crochet. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, 
and three in the same space you're going to do a single crochet you're going to skip the next one and go to the other one and do exactly the same repetition in total you're going to have eight of these petals so remember you have 16 double crochet since so you're skipping one in between you'll have sticks in in here and eight petals in the top and you have to do eight of these flowers that are done in three rows so continue doing your petals remember it's the chain of three yarn over twice and in the same space that you did a single crochet you're going to do three treble crochet one two and three chain three and do a single crochet in the same space skip the next one and go to the other one and do the same repetition until you have your eight petals here i have seven petals i'm gonna skip this uh, space and go to the next one and i'm gonna do my last petal in between here and this one you see i have the space here where i did a slip stitch on top of the chain so you're gonna count one two and three that's why i recommend exactly in the same space where you did uh, the slip stitch on top of that chain you had to do the first petal so that's one two and three chain three one two three in the same space that you're seeing a crochet now you're going to skip that space and go to the space where you did the slip stitch in here and you're going to do a slip stitch in the beginning of that chain three and at that you finish that row number two now we're going to do row number three and the last row for the now flowers. we're going to do some slip stitches until the center here remember we did three uh treble crochet so you're going to do a slip stitch until you get into the top of the center one at uh, the second one so you're going to do some slip stitch on top of the chain here and then you're in at the center one now and here so I'm gonna chain one and in that space I'm gonna do a single crochet now I'm gonna chain six one two three four five and six you're gonna come here to the next pedal in the center treble crochet you're gonna do a single crochet and this is the repetition that we're gonna do in this row one two three four five and six go to the center and do a single crochet and again one two three four five and six go to the center here and do a single crochet like this you're going to continue all the way around and then i will meet you when i get to this one to show you how we're going to close in here and you have done your first flower of eight here i'm going to work on the last one so i'm going to chain six one two three four five and six you're going to come here to the first single crochet that you did you're going to do a slip stitch chain one cut the yarn and lose those two tails and like this you're going to create eight flowers 
so it's one flower for each granny square so they will look like this once you lose the tails so you have to make eight I have three now I have to make five more here I have one of my granny square done it will look like this it's a really easy granny square to do and you can use them for a uh, mini poncho like this or you can use them for uh, blouses, uh, cardigans, um, bikini cover-ups, uh, skirts, uh, table runner, uh, tablecloth, or a bedspread. So many, many things you can do with these granny squares. So now... I'm going to do a slip knot. And I'm going to come here to any of these chain six space. I'm going to pass the loop in here. And I'm going to do my first chain with the tail and the yarn attached to the bow by the two ends. So now I'm going to do two more. One and two, and I'm gonna pull a little bit this tail and then make that the chain look you see, don't look thick or anything, look like it's just one strand of yarn. So now I'm gonna do two more double crochet because the chain three counts as the first one, and this is one of the corners. You're gonna chain two and you're gonna do three more double crochet in the same space. That's one two and three now you're gonna do a chain of five one two three four and five and you're gonna come here to the chain six space and you're gonna do a single crochet and we do our first corner now again you're gonna chain five one two three four and five yarn over and in here you're going to do again another corner one and two and three more double crochet so this is uh, the repetition that you're going to do in every single row the corner will be three double crochet chain two and three double crochet and all the chain space will be a chain of five so one two three four and five a single crochet i'm gonna chain five one two three four and five and again, in the next space, you're going to do three double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet. And like that, I finish my third corner. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Come here. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over. And we're going to work on the last corner. One, two, and three double crochet chain two three double crochet in the same space one two and three chain five one two three four and five and do the last single crochet in here 
in the last space. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna finish here on the third chain. One, two. You're gonna do a slip stitch. And like that, you finish the to create the square from the flower to a square. So now you're gonna do in here one two and three slip stitch until you get to the chain two space. Now we're gonna start the next row. Now we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and that counts as the first double crochet of three. And we're gonna create our first corner, so that's two and three, chain two, one and two, yarn over, and again three more double crochet in the same space. So that's one, two, and three. You're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna come here to the first chain five space in here, and you're gonna do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Go to the next space and do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Come here and work your next corner. That's one. two and three double crochet chain two and three in the, in the same space chain five one two three four and five and single crochet in the next chain five space like this you're going to continue in this row and all the rows until you have one square with six row like this i have mine in here so you'll count one two three four five and six when you finish number six you do a slip stitch chain one cut the yarn and lose those tail and that's the first one the second one when you finish row Number five, I will meet you here to show you how you're going to attach that one to this one. So after that, you will attach them. After you finish row number five, working on row number six, you start attaching. You only have to do one complete with six row. The other one, as we work, we will do the six row. Now we're going to join this square with this one, with the first one. So in here, I start row number six. And I did this side of this square. And the second side now I'm working the third one and then here is where I'm gonna attach this one to the next one you can attach it in this one or in this one in one of those two or this one here whatever you wish in any of those three except the last one because in the last one you don't want to have a complete corner here you see so and here I already did my half of the corner in one chain now I'm going to come here to the square, right side up, and this is the wrong side. With wrong side, I'm going to do a single crochet in here. I'm going to do a yarn over, and I'm going to come here and I do my double crochet. Here I wanted to explain you, in the corner, remember, we have only a chain of two. So here we did a chain, one space, a single crochet, and then here, if we do a chain and then we'll have three chain so that will be an extra chain so instead when you do your double crochet you see this yarn over in here will create the space like a chain but it's not you see the same space that you have here you'll have on the other side so you're gonna do two more double crochet I have three now you're going to chain two, one and two, and you're going to come here to the first chain of five in the square in the back, and you're going to do a single crochet. So that was a chain of two, plus the single crochet, that's three, plus two more, 
as the five chain that you need for this square to continue. So one, two, go to the next square and the next space. You have to make sure that you go to the next chain five space and then one and two and you come here to the one in the front. So once in a while you have to check just in case uh, you skip one or you did two in the same space and you don't want, you know, to undo your work. So one and two because that happened to me before I placed two of these in the same space. And I'm sure then in the other side. One and two. There's no big deal, it's a really easy thing to undo. One and two. Go to the next. And like this you're gonna continue working. Let me do one more. Like this you're gonna continue working, you see? Until the corner. And this make a really nice square here in between the flowers as well. It's really nice uh, granny square. So I'll meet you here to show you how you're going to finish this corner. Once you get corner. to the back square and you do in the last chain five space a single crochet, you're going to chain two. Now we're going to work in this corner here in the front and you're going to do three double crochet. That's one. two and three. You're going to chain one. You're going to do a single crochet in the last corner in here. Yarn over and you're going to come here and you're going to do your three double crochet to finish this corner. One, two, and three. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five, and you're going to continue working in here until you finish the square in here. You do a slip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn, loose your tail. And like this, it will look these two granny square. Look how nice that look. We create a beautiful square in the center here. So now, when you finish that, you're going to attach two more and the other two will be in here. After this one, you attach one and then another one for a total of four. Once you have those four attached to each other and you have uh, the square number five almost finished and row number five, I will meet you here to attach that one as well. So here I have my one, two, three and four. Now number five, I'm going to attach in here. This was the first one that I uh, finish and I attach this one to this one. So in here I'm gonna attach this one just a sec. I already did all my squares and I finished until the sixth row and left the tail and then now I just had to undo this little piece here and it's easier because it's just attaching all of them. So this one will be attached in here you see and this create the point of our little mini poncho. So once you attach this one in here, exactly the same way as you attach these two, you attach this one. The only thing that you have to attach this one to the these two in here. You're gonna attach two more in here. And then I will meet you here to do the last one, okay? Once you finish attaching that square, you're going to attach another one. So you will have four in here and then two in here. Uh, don't count this one here. You have two. So the third one that you're going to attach in this side will be this one. And we're going to attach this one uh, in here exactly the same to this one. But this time we're going to work in here and this corner here we're going to attach to this corner here, these two in here. Okay. That way when we attach the last one in here, number eight, it will be in here. 
Okay? So for this square, for square number three or number seven, if you can start counting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, you will have one side at the square of row number six completely. And then when you get to that corner in here, so you'll have one, two, three corner to work. So the first one in here, you'll attach here to this one here. And then you continue working until you attach these two square to each other. Work this in here by itself. And then when you get to this in here, we're gonna attach these two tip. Okay? So I'll meet you here when I'm doing this. But just yes, normal attaching this one to this one, this one just along by itself working in this side. And then when you get to the tip is you're gonna connect to this. I already tip. attached in here, did the part of the square. And if you count, you see you have these two in here, even these two, these two, plus the tip. So now what we're gonna do is work in this this one here. You're gonna come here and attach the tip of this one with the tip of that one in here. With a single crochet, yarn over, and then continue working in that square. Finish that square, you start working on the last one, and then when you are in row number five, that you start row number six, um, that you have already, you know, you know, one side done like this and then I will meet you here to attach the last one, okay? Here I finish uh, row number five of my last square, square number eight. I already did this side of the square and then um, in this corner and then now I chain one and I'm gonna do my single crochet in here and the tip at this square that is on my right hand and this is right side up and then I'm gonna attach in here and in the center here in the single crochet I'm gonna do a single crochet from this tip and then I'm gonna continue working in this side here finish here attaching these two and continue here and do my uh, slip stitch in one um, and cut the yarn and lose all the tails once you lose all the tails we'll meet here to continue working on our mini punch once you finish it will look like this Now we're gonna work here on the top to close this a little bit more. Okay. Now we're gonna do a slip knot. And you're gonna come here in one of these space here. I'm gonna come to this one here. You can do one, two, or three in any of these spaces. But I'm gonna do in this one. I'm gonna chain one. And I'm gonna do a single crochet in here. I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four chain. And I'm gonna do a single crochet in this space in here. And this one here we have five, now we're doing four. Okay? Now here you're gonna do two, one, and two, jump over, and you're gonna come here. You see you had your three corners here. You're gonna come here to the one underneath in here. And you're gonna do three double crochet. That's one, two, and three. You're gonna chain two, one, and two, and three more double crochet in the same space. Only in that space in there. And here. You're gonna chain two, one, and two. And you're gonna come here in the chain five space, single crochet, now you're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four, uh, single crochet. One, two, three, and four, single crochet. One, two, three, and four single crochet and then I change five space one two three and four 
single crochet one two three and four single crochet one two three four single crochet one two three and four and you're going to do a single crochet and this single crochet here, here in between these two tips and you're going to continue doing this all the way around and then when you get to the tip in here and these three and you're going to do exactly the same as you did in this one here like this in the center so right here when you get to the space before this one where you start I will meet you here to continue the for the next space row. before the chain five where I start with my uh, single crochet now I'm going to chain one yarn over I'm going to come here to that single crochet and I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm at the center here you see I have this um, the space I'm going to chain one and you're going to come here through that a strand and the one on the other side like this you're going to pass through here and you're going to do a single crochet because in this single crochet we're going to finish in here and start the next row now you're going to chain three one two and three single crochet and then a chain four space one two and three single crochet and the chain two space one two and three single crochet and the top of this um, B stitch in here in the chain two space you're gonna do a single crochet one two and three single crochet and the chain two space in here one two and three single crochet in the next space one two and three single crochet in the next space and like that you're going to continue all the way around until you get here to the space before the one that you start this row and, and here it will be like this give, give you a round to the color here in the front and the back so you continue that row and I will meet you here to continue with the with next row chain one and yarn over and I'm going to come here to that single crochet and I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm here at the center again I'm going to chain one, I'm going to come here and do again a single crochet. We're going to chain three again, one, two, and three, and we're going to do a single crochet. One, two, and three, and again. You're going to repeat this as many times as you would like for yours, and then when you have the desired um, height of this, uh, I will meet you here to do a row of chain two space. After the row chain two space, we're gonna do a row with double crochet. That way we can pass a cord that we're gonna do with um, crochet with a chain. That way we can tie it here in the top. So I will let you know how many row I will give to mine of three and chain three space. That way, just in case you wanted to do exactly like mine. You see, all the way around the chain of three. One, two, and three. And try as you go. That's the best um, measurement. And you try it on as you work. I'll look here in the center. You see, and the center starts to look like that. For mine, I did eight rows of uh, chain three space. Uh, this row in here is the chain four space. And then I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight row of chain three space. So you can do those eight, you can do more, you can do less, it's up to you. And here we're gonna finish exactly the same as we've done so far, have my chain one yarn over and I'm going to do a double crochet in here and I finish in the center here chain one do the single crochet and now I'm going to chain two one 
and two. Come here, do a single crochet. One and two, a single crochet. Make sure that you don't do the chains too tight. One and two. So you're gonna do this row of to chain finish two. this last row of chain two space. We're gonna do a chain two, and we're gonna do a slip stitch in this single crochet that we did here to start the row. And like that, you finish. Now you're gonna chain three plus one, one two three plus one four. Yarn over. You're gonna skip one of these chain two space we have here. You're gonna skip the first one, go to the second one, and do a double crochet and go to the single crochet and do a double crochet and this is what we're going to do in here you're going to chain one yarn over skip the first chain go to the second and do a double crochet and go to the single crochet and do a double crochet chain one yarn over skip the first chain go to the second one do a double crochet and a double crochet and a single crochet and like this you're going to work all and I'm gonna finish this around. row. I'm at the end here. I chain one. I have the last two chain space that I did here and the chain three plus one in here. So I'm gonna do yarn over. I'm gonna cut one, two, and in the second chain, I'm gonna do my last double crochet. I'm gonna come here and on the chain in here that I did three plus one, I'm gonna cut one, two, and then the third one, I'm gonna do my slip stitch. I'm gonna chain one, cut the yarn, and lose that tail. And let's start to look like this in the top. Look how nice that look in the top. So now I'm gonna do a core to pass it through here. It's optional. You know, these don't gonna fall out of your shoulder if you did the same amount of rows as I did here. So this is staying on shoulder. It's just more for looks. Because at the end, I'm going to do some tassels with this yarn. It's just for the look. For the top, to tie it up, I'm going to do a chain long enough to go all the way around and to have extra to uh, tie in here. So you're just going to do a chain. Chain, chain, chain. I don't even want to count mine. I'm just going to chain as many as I need for mine. And I will measure as I go. And once I have the measurement, I will chain an extra and I will go back with a row of single crochet all the way to the end. And that makes my chain stronger and a good thickness. Like this. So do that. And when we come back, I will show you how I'm going to make my tassels. This is how I'm going to finish the chain. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm gonna do my last one with a slip stitch. And I'm gonna do a knot between the two tails and I'm gonna loose them inside the core. And it'll look even in both ends. I did my little cord. And I pass it through here. So here in the center, I left these three with nothing. It's like that, empty. And then I pass one in the top, one in the bottom, one in the top, one in the bottom. Of these uh, two double crochet. And I make sure that my uh, core is the right side out. And in the top is the single crochet. And the bottom is the strand of the chain. And it looks really nice. And so now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, the tassels. Uh, if you know how to do them, just make two, attach them at the end here. And the length of these is the same length as my mini poncho here on the tip. So when I do this in here, it will be shorter. With the tassel. I already made one and I had to trim it. And I'm going to show you how to make the other one. And for this one, I wrap around 50 times because it's nice and thin, this thread. I left a tail for uh, attaching to the core. 
So now I'm going to show you how to do the other one. And I have this cardboard that I use for pom-poms. So you have to have your needle with the thread to do your other uh, task.
Once you finish cutting them, it will look like this, nice and even. So now with your tapestry needle, you're going to come here and you're going to pass it through here and you're going to tie a few knots with that strand of yarn that you left in here and do the same on the other side and then we are almost finished. The two tassels and what I did here, I passed it twice through the chain in here, the single crochet and I passed it through the little strand that you get here in the top and then after that I passed it through, through inside to the bottom here and then went up and it went down again from different places and I even them up in here and they are nice and secure. Now if you like you can leave it like this or you can do some fringes at the end in here and that's what I'm going to do on mine. These ones are for uh, a strand that when you fold it in half it gives you eight because this is very thin yarn. So you can do it in every single space or you can skip one space. You start in the center here and then you skip one and go to the next one. That's what I'm going to do first. And then after that, if I found that it's not enough, I will do the rest and the ones I left with nothing. So if I start here in the center, I will leave this one with none. And this one, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And, and this one here will be the next in between these two um, tips and the single crochet I will do one okay so you're gonna do all the way around and the measure of this one is I have this uh, calendar here for next year still sealed and this measure from here to here 30 centimeters and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap as many times as I can in here and without pulling my yarn, it's nice and loose, like this. And when I have enough, I will cut in here and cut in here, and that will give me the length that I want for my um, fringes. And it will be when you fold them in half, and here will be 15 centimeters. And once you do your little knot, it will be like 12 centimeters long. So I will do that and I will show you the end. The here I decided off. to do it in every single space, that way it look more full in here, in the front, well, everywhere. And what I'm doing is, let me show you how to put one just in case, I fold them in half in here and with my crochet hook I come to one of these chain 5 space and I pass it through and I make that look big, wrap all those strands, pass it through the loop pull and tie them and that's it you have your fringes. I'm going to continue it will take me a while because it's a lot of those spaces so when I finish I'm I'll show you the end result. I'm uh, doing the fringes but you will love the end result. Leaving one space in between don't look as good as having all uh, the hanging thread in your uh, mini punch. Well, now I'll put it on and I'll show you them. Well, this is the end result. And thanks to my friend Maria, I was able to do this beautiful mini poncho. Thank you, my dear friend, for sending me that beautiful uh, yarn or thread. So I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you make this piece and you want to save me some pictures, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman. And you can find me in my Instagram, Ruby Stedman Crochet. Please share my video with friends and family, that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.